Okay, so today's um I came, sorry, I had some uh, uh I came here, I came to the US myself and just oh I just hit the damn. Sorry. Okay, this happens. Hi guys, welcome to the hippie spirit. Um, there is a small change on my channel from today on. Um, I'm gonna be talking more in English uh, on my channel because I've I've got a lot of lot of requests from my uh, friends, non Malu friends, asking me to do my videos in English because they want to support me and also they are watching my channel and they are seeing my videos and they want to be able to understand what I'm what I'm talking about, right? So. Um, I know I, I told you guys that I'm gonna make videos like in a mixture like me talking in Malayalam and English together because that's how I usually talk but um, I think from now on I'm going to make videos in English at least I'm gonna try and keep my videos in English mostly for my um, all of my friends to understand and um, there's also another thing I thought about it because um, most of my Malu friends and I think all of my Malu friends talk English and they understand English so I don't think they are really missing out on anything if I just keep talking in English so makes sense right the only issue is uh, if I speak in uh, English like continue yeah if I speak in English I'm not gonna have that same flow that I would have while I talk in Malayalam because uh, and I would be making a lot of mistakes which I'll correct through the video so if I say in for on or it for off I don't care I'm just gonna correct it as much as I can and you know to the best of my ability and um, yeah I'm ready to learn and I'm not ashamed of it so yeah that's what we're gonna do and also I'll have to do a lot of editing because if I make mistakes i would have to edit but then i i think it's okay i'm just gonna go i'm not gonna get really conscious with my um with my language i don't think i'm i don't think i'm bad yeah so i'm not gonna get really conscious about my language because i i honestly i don't think i'm that bad so i don't think i have to be like super conscious about my uh, pronunciation or tenses or anything of that sort so that's it guys i'm gonna be talking in english for most of my videos from now on Without wasting time, if it's your first time here, hi, my name is Silpa, not Shilpa, Silpa, because in here in the US, people would want to call you the way it is spelled. So my spelling is S-I-L-P-P-A, which makes me Silpa, thanks to my dad. Okay, so today's subject is on individual accountability. I'm gonna tell you a few things which, um, which you have to keep in mind. Take control of your life and hold yourself basically accountable for the things that happen in your life. So how many of you actually sit down and think, oh my God, this is happening because it was, my situation is bad or the circumstances that I am in is bad or I'm not able to change it because of because the things around me are the same and my situation is bad. And how many of you actually have the guts to sit down, think through this and say, oh my, oh no, you know, my, my situations might be the same, my circumstances could be the same, but I'm the one who's going to change. And if I change, things change. How many of you do that? I'll tell you something uh, that happened to me. So I was somebody who used to, you know, do things more in favor for the for the for the people that I was with. It could be my parents or friends or relatives or anybody. I would keep my things aside, like at least give it less priority when it comes to things that I want to do for the people I loved or I thought loved me. But over the years, I learned that that's not the way to go about it, and I started giving priority to the things that I want in life, the things that truly brings me happiness. It's when I started to do that is when I realized that the people in my life, they, whoever wants me to do that is going to stay and who, whoever didn't like me doing it or who the kind of people who got some kind of an advantage from the my previous self, the previous kind of a person that I was would leave but that was like a nice thing for me because it worked out for me 
and my life changed if you're thinking that i'm making this video just to make a video out of an inspiration or something out of individual accountability just to make a, a youtube video you guys are wrong uh, hear me out i'm actually saying this from my personal experience i can give you an example i am a dentist i'm uh, practicing i was practicing in india uh, for a few years and I've taken my master's and all that and then I came to the US I right now I'm in the US and doing my master's in public health in master's in public health we have a subject called health behavior and society under health behavior and society we have this theory called socio-economic theory in this particular theory what they teach you is that oh it's not just because of of course you have your own you are accountable for what you do but there are also other things around you that's going to influence you so much that it's going to be so difficult for you to get out of it you know if you're just in the same situation so it's sort of uh, putting the whole thing on your society or your situation and taking that accountability factor out of it i thought about this and so <laughs> I, I proved it wrong, okay? I'm not saying the whole theory is wrong. I'm nobody to say all those things, but I'm saying, I'm telling this because I was somebody, I don't I don't mind, uh, you know, saying this. This is like an example because I was somebody who used to smoke. I used to smoke, I like any other smoker. I started off small, smoking uh, half of a cigarette a day and then it went on and on and then it increased and all that. And I was smoking for, before I knew it, it was like all, already several years into smoking. I came, sorry, I have sniffles. Uh, uh, I came here, I came to the US and I was still kind of smoking for maybe one more month uh, after coming here. It's after that, that so while I was smoking, after coming to the US, I had, so I used to go down, it used to be the same apartment, same situation, same people around. I used to go down and smoke because we don't smoke in the house in the US, whatever. Um, I used to go down and smoke and I used to see other people smoking, you know, and then we used to have a chat, we used to talk, start talking, making friends with each other, and then there was a small community where we all like meet up and smoke uh, and talk, right? So th there was a friendship growing um, there, in there. But after, after that month, I started preparing for my national boards, uh, my boards exam in the US which which took which actually took me a lot of effort and a lot of discipline and um, you know it was I was glued to the sofa um, the last six months I would say when I was preparing for my national boards to get into dentistry here that's when I thought that I should stop smoking you know I was I was too stressed and if I was going to smoke all through that stress I wouldn't be alive right now so it was that level of uh, smoking that i would do if i were to continue smoking when i was doing my my inbd preparation so one fine day i decided i'm gonna stop smoking i'm gonna i'm not gonna go back get back to school i didn't know how i would do it because yes there are friends waiting for me downstairs or uh, you know i would just lose those friendships in that community that i had which was like we used to talk about a lot of things whatever but then i stopped it and I'm proud to say that it's I'm on my ninth month of quitting smoking. And uh, yeah, so from this example of mine, I can say that I'm asking you, what is it that changed around me? Nothing changed around me. Nobody changed around me. Nobody told me to, you know, do all this, do it this way, do it that way. Yes, my roommate used to ask me to stop smoking. She's like, babe stop smoking <laughs> yeah that's all she should say and it genuinely wanted to listen to her so yeah that was like a like a like an extra thing that helped me quit smoking actually she's put up these things on my refrigerator with the date that i stopped smoking and then she used to go and mark every month that i finish without smoking uh so sweet of her so yeah that's that so what i want to tell you guys is what changed is me it was only me. No socioeconomic things around me changed, guys. Trust me. There are there are still people outside uh, smoking. That I, I I walk through smoke. They they look at me. They're like, hey, good morning, and I'm like, good morning. And but I walk past them, and I walk through the smoke. But I don't get this urge to go back and smoke again because that that 
accountability that I had in me was so powerful, so strong that I didn't want to go back and do it. You know what I'm saying? It would I would consider myself a failure if I did that. So so that is it, guys. This is just a small example which I can relate to when I when I when I talk about you know a personal individual accountability. This can be apply to everything in life you want to change your life you change your life don't wait around for the circumstances around you to change so that you can change your life that's not going to happen not everybody can move uh, from from one place to another just to change a habit you cannot do that right you have to be in the same situation and still choose to not do it right so take charge of your life don't sit with it sit and say you know this happened to me and self loathe your way through it please do not do that if you want to change please change you change first and then expect the things around you to change and believe me it will change so so when i ask you guys to be accountable for the things that you do i'm not i'm not this is really important guys listen to me i'm not asking you to sit and blame yourself for the things that happen in your life which you have no control over you get what i'm saying do not do not blame yourself for the things that you cannot do anything about the goal here is to understand something realize something that you can change and something that you cannot change know the difference and act accordingly before i wind up guys uh, you know that uh, in my videos i try and connect with whatever i'm saying to something personal that happened in my life uh, i know i'm giving out a little of little of my personal life along with my videos but um which is not which the things that i did before like i had another video on bullying where i confessed that i was a bully like when i didn't know that i i was bullying someone and when i was thinking oh i was being like the superpower trying to bring somebody down like you know or I didn't I did not think so much about it so I'm trying to be a better person each passing day trying to contemplate the things that I do with myself and just oh I just hit the lamp sorry okay this happens um so yeah guys so I'm just asking you to get better do better in life hold yourself accountable for the things that happen in your life which is solely under your control your actions are going to have an impact in your life if your actions are going to have an impact in your life so are your inactions okay do not do not just sit and let it be do not do not just let life happen to you make life happen in on your own terms okay that's it guys Thank you so much for watching and let's grow together and let's be better together. I'll see you in the next video.